Today we're going to talk about the Benelli M2 that I recently picked up last fall and give you guys kind of a review of it after using it for three or four months of duck and goose season. I know I've been slacking on the off-season waterfowl related content. I've just been really busy so um, hopefully I can be coming out with some new waterfowl related stuff for you guys. Um, and if you have any kind of video suggestions, the things you want to see, kind of helpful tips and tricks when it comes to waterfowl hunting, let me know down in the comments and uh, they might be turned into a video. I've also got the podcast up and rolling. We've got quite a few episodes, so make sure to head over to the Outdoor Limits podcast. Check that out. We also have a Facebook group, so make sure to go check out that Facebook group as well. And if you want to help support the channel, I've got a few of these hats left. So if you want Bottomland, there's only a handful left. And same with the Spoonies Bro hats. So um, pick these up while they last. Uh, I'm hopefully going to be coming out with some new stuff soon. But um, you guys wanted Bottomland. I don't think I'm going to do Bottomland ever again. So if you want a Bottomland hat, now is your time to get it. Or else it'll be gone forever. So um, only a handful of those left. So let's go ahead and talk about this bad boy right here. And this is a Benelli M2. And this one's a 20 gauge. And as you guys have probably seen in some of the hunting videos, I have used this more than my 12 gauge ever since I got it. And so with this being my first 20 gauge I've ever shot, oh my gosh, guys, it is fantastic. And I know there's a lot of people who kind of like to hate on the 20 gauge shooters. And, um, you know, I was skeptical at first as well, but after using the 20 gauge and shooting it and using it to hunt, I think I like it better than my 12 gauge. Um, it's a lighter weight gun. I mean, this thing's feather light and, um, you don't realize that like, you've got your gun with you and, um, you know, it's also just a lighter load so you don't feel that recoil and I've noticed I've been able to follow up on birds a lot quicker with the 20 gauge versus the 12 because I'm not kind of recovering from that recoil quite as much so for this being my first 20 gauge I absolutely love it I've been shooting three inch two shot at ducks and geese out of this thing and it has crushed it so if you guys are skeptical about the 20 gauges believe me it works I've got video evidence of just crumpling big geese with a 20 gauge. So um, I also think that shooting a 20 gauge has made my shot better. So um, your pattern is going to be a little bit tighter with a 20 gauge just because there's less pellets. Um, so I've, at least that's what I've always been told is you're going to have a tighter pattern with a 12 gauge or a 20 gauge versus a 12, which kind of makes sense. There's less pellets. It's a smaller diameter uh, barrel. So you're going to have a tighter pattern from the get go. So I need to get out and test this and see how it patterns because I'm just curious. So hopefully we could do that here in the future. So let's go ahead and uh, kind of go over some specs of this thing. It is the Benelli M2 with a 26 inch barrel and it's a semi-automatic 20 gauge. And so it's got the Comfort Tech stock, it's inertia driven. This is my first inertia gun as well. So I've had a lot of fun new deals to kind of play with with this because uh, I, my Winchester is a gas operated and that was my first semi-auto and this is inertia and it's my second semi-auto. So um, it's been great to me. I've loved shooting it. It's got a pretty hefty price tag on it. So it's definitely not a cheap gun. It's over $1,200 if I remember correctly. Um, maybe kind of in the 12 to 13, 14 range, um, something somewhere in that range. It's definitely over a thousand dollars. So uh, you're definitely paying for the Benelli name, but the Benelli quality is also there. You got the Comfort Tech stock, and that really helps out with the recoil. I mean, with a 20 gauge, you're really not having to deal with a lot of recoil, but nonetheless, helps dampen that recoil and uh, makes for really comfortable shooting. Um, and then I like the safety on it. It's got a pretty decent sized safety. So just like that, it's a big triangle. I'll give you guys kind of close up shots of this. That's about it for the features of this thing. Um, I've always shot the modified choke that came with the Benelli. So uh, that's what I've been shooting for most of the season, actually all of the season. And it's a three inch chamber. So that's all of the features of this gun. Let's go ahead and dive into kind of the issues I've had with this and kind of 
tell you guys that if you're looking to purchase this. This is by no means a me selling you this gun. YouTube doesn't like it when you sell guns and stuff on their platform. So uh, I'm not selling it. I'm just kind of giving you guys a lowdown on what my opinion is on this. Some of the issues I've had. There's only two of them. Uh, three of them, actually. Uh, one, sometimes it's very difficult to load shells in here. Um, sometimes they get stuck with the shell being a little bit too fat with the shot. Um, I had a really bad issue with a couple of boss shells. Um, so that was an issue. Doesn't happen all the time, so not a huge deal. But when it does happen, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, another issue is the good old Benelli click. Um, so what that means is when you've got the Benelli click, you don't let the bolt slide and slam. If you just kind of let it go carefully, it's not going to fully seat. So you want to make sure that slams closed. And I've had the Benelli click a couple of times. Um, whether it's just kind of from bumping my gun to turn the shot cam on, which I believe is mainly the problem with this is if I bump it too hard or if I tap it on the ground, it can come out of battery sometimes. Um, it, it's just a problem with uh, the Benelli inertia system. So um, you just have to be aware of that. Always check your bolt. Just go like that. You're going to fully seat it and you'll be all right. Uh, I have had it happen on the second shot before, but it was only on shots when I was swinging up. So I felt I thought that was kind of odd, but other than that, most of the time it's not an issue. I think I've only had it happen a handful of times, maybe three or four times in the whole time I was shooting this gun. So um, it happens. Guns with the inertia system, sometimes they just don't seat correctly, and that's how it happens. So um, I've never had any issues with, like, jamming or ejection problems um, overall I've had very little issues with this and then like, one time the butt came off so that, that was kind of annoying but slapped that thing back on there glad I found it um, that was in a kayak hunt so uh, something to be aware of these butts do come off uh, just like the little foam pad on the end but other than that, it's been a pretty solid piece. I love shooting it. It shoots so smooth and clean. It's lightweight. And um, I think I just, I love shooting the 20 gauge way more than the 12. Um, I started shooting the 12 more in late season just because I felt like I needed to start shooting the 12 for those longer shots on the geese. And the geese had thicker feathers. And I didn't think that the two shot that I was shooting out of this gun would have been good enough so i just bumped up to the 12 gauge and started shooting three inch double b's and it seemed to do all right but nonetheless i love this gun and uh, if you're looking to purchase it i'd say really really look it over um, i know benelli came out with a uh, super black eagle 320 gauge as well so that wasn't around when i bought the m2 back then the m2 was the only 20 gauge benelli semi-auto that you can get so that's what I ended up getting, and I I don't have any regrets from it. So that's about it. If you guys enjoyed this, let me know. If you shoot the Benelli M2, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. If you've had any issues with it, just kind of make this a uh, little section to where if you have this, drop some reviews of your own down below for people who are looking at this gun to purchase it. I've had a lot of videos on guns do really well, so go ahead and check it out down in the comments if you're looking to purchase this gun. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will catch you on the next video.